back to another podcast, another blog out of the book of Galatians. Today we're in Galatians chapter 5, verses 4 through 6, which reads, You who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit we eagerly await, by faith, the righteousness for which we hope. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith, expressing itself through love. Again, this is Galatians chapter 5, verses 4 through 6. In this text today, the apostle continues to drive home the idea that if we use the law to achieve our own righteousness before God, we will lack the ability to appreciate and experience his life-changing grace. Even for believers, slavery is what happens when we lose connection with God's grace. The key to freedom is to keep depending on grace. We are free when our dependence is upon God and we experience his acceptance through the sacrifice of his son. The Greek word the apostle uses here in verse 4 for alienated means to be severed from. You might notice this is a play on words. Given the subject of uh, circumcision mentioned in the context of this book of Galatians, Paul is not teaching that we lose our salvation when we're alienated. He is just saying that we will not be under the powerful influence of God's grace. Grace causes us to eat of the fruit of the tree of life, whereby we receive more grace, not because of how awesome we are or because of the power of our own thinking. It is the faith of God given by the Holy Spirit through grace that is given to us the ability even to the belief, to believe. The apostle in verse 5 describes the way freedom shows up in our lives. The righteousness that Paul is speaking of is the realization of right life or life that is right. Whether it's in this world or in the world to come, we all know that sense when we get it right the satisfaction that it renders. Our new lives began with the work of the Spirit in our hearts and in our minds. And our lives go on by the work of the Spirit in our hearts and in our minds. We are free because God has sent the Son and the Son has sent His Spirit to give us the right orientation to life. Not only this life, but the life to come. He offers his fellowship and help and even makes the life of obedience a life of joy. The Christian life is a life of freedom because it is lived by the power of the Holy Spirit. We can go through this life minimizing the effect of the Spirit and, of course, the grace of God in our lives. In verse 5, Paul writes, For through the Spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope. The human side of freedom is seen in this verse. The human side is faith, which is an ongoing way of waiting for the hope of righteousness. We are righteous now, but there will come a day where righteousness will reign, that which is right, that which is of God. But this is a two-sided coin. One side is the sovereign work of God that is at work for us and in us, It is his inertia which makes it possible for us to believe. The other side of the coin, of course, is our faith, a life of reliance on what God does for us, not we can do, well, not what we can do for ourselves or for God. For the believer, faith is what gives juice to the operative grace of God in our lives. The more we, by faith, are defined by God, the more of his grace we understand and comprehend. And when this happens, 
his grace takes over and produces the kind of life that the Lord Jesus died to give us. My friends, I trust these podcasts and blogs are helpful to you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of help to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day. <laughs>